Hey guys, I'm going to show you how you can add your custom domain into your Shopify account. So just look for the settings section. Um, you should be able to see that at the bottom part of your page and then go into the domains section in here. So basically the normal like Shopify domain has a Shopify extension. Well, you can use this as a starting point, but it's still better to use a branding domain. So in this year you have two options. You can either um, buy a domain from a domain provider like GoDaddy or Google Domains, or if you already bought a domain, then you can, um, instead of buying, is connecting your existing domain. So um, let's say you want to buy a new domain. So just hit this new domain in here, and then you um, pick what your domain, like for example, I'm going to put in my name. So it will give you some options like how much does it cost um, whether you want to use .net or .org and you just need to click on like hit like buy now and like just follow the research instruction now this tutorial will be more into connecting the existing domain because like buying the, the a new domain is super straightforward like again you just need to put in your domain click on the buy now and it should automatically redirect it or set up for you now if you already have an existing domain like if you already purchased that domain to either GoDaddy, you can connect it so simply click the connect the existing domain and then you put in the domain that you want to connect so as an example this is the domain that i want to use in the shopify account i'm going to click on next just blurring the domain for um, confidential purposes so like once you want to try to connect an existing domain Shopify will provide you some TXT records that you need to match into your DNS zone editor so um, our zone editor of this domain is hosted in Cloudflare but if it's hosted in GoDaddy or something like regardless of what domain you're using all of the domain provider has a DNS zone editor so you need you just need to look on that section so as an example let's say a Cloudflare I'm going to click on that domain in here and I'm going to go into the DNS and go to the records again all of the domain provider has this option so if you are confused most of the domain provider supports like live chat so you can ask them like hey where i can access the dns zone editor okay so in here in the cloudflare you can access your dns zone editor under the dns section and records and then you um at the moment this domain is actually um connected to a different shopify account but like we want to abolish that and replace it with this new account so what i'm gonna do is i will let me just screenshot this just to make sure that we have backup for everything. I'm gonna screenshot that, put it in here. Okay, so these are the value that Shopify wants you to follow. So you just need to click on add records and then you pick on the TXT records. So TXT and then the name is the Shopify underscore verification. And then you also need to put in the required value. And then I'm going to put there a Shopify verification. Okay, this section, this comment section is just available in Cloudflare. Um, I'm not sure if it's also available in other domain provider, but this one is just purpose of like, um, you know, or you have a note what this this record is all about. So um, make sure you put the Shopify verification and the value as well, which is this one. And then I'm going to click on the next and then you click on verification and domain ownership verification failed please check the txt record so it might take for a while to propagate the um the new record so if that happens like right now i'm trying to verify it but like it's giving me oh it's already verified so once you verify so in here um once you verify this domain will be added listed so it says in here this process may take up to 48 hours so as i said sorry makes you confused like once you already added the txt records in here sometimes it might take it might take for a while to to add it officially so you probably need to wait a couple of hours and then try to re-verify that into your shopify account yeah i'm gonna get back later if it's already verified um which might oh in here it's already verified nice so it's already verified and but currently the account is under 
So it's already verified, but currently we're still using the old domain, which is which has a myshopify.com. So you need to change the primary. So I'm gonna click the change domain. I'm gonna click that as a primary domain and click on change domain type. And here you go. You already have, you're already using this as your main domain.